if your window seat and the wall, and the wall to your left or right explodes <laughs> and you survive, you get back down to I'm ground throwing, level. I'm throwing one sneaker out the You're window. You're getting just so much more than fifteen hundred dollars in like you know delta points. You're gonna be fine. You're gonna get a big payday. There's, you got to. There is a flight. You have to. to. <laughs> There's no way you, you don't to, get bro. a heavy check. A year worth of flights. I don't even want to. Just give me a year. I, first of all, no. I don't want points. I don't want. You want the I cash? Don't want, I don't want flight dollars. Nothing. I need cash. You think for two seconds if the door <laughs> plug blows out next to you that you're going to be like, let me just travel a ton on your in the airline. next on your, on your airline. <laughs> yeah, on your nah. planes? Hell no, dude. You wouldn't get on a plane again. Mm -mm. I don't think it's stopping me. You've been if in car you, accidents and you get back in cars. It's a different vibe. It is. Because <laughs> you get hit like a deer. You're like, oh, I'll get my car back in two days. It's a different that vibe. door flies off, bro. It's first of I all, trust I hate for door. us to keep coming back to it. <laughs> but it's just a, a it's just a, such an asinine thought that, you know, you're if on a the, plane. If the wall next to you on the flight blows, blows out. out at 40,000 feet. My AirPod Max, I said, isn't it? They fly <laughs> off my head. I'm, I'm in my seat your, getting like rocked because that wind is so crazy. Your life will change forever. Episode 74, <laughs> Mike DeMarco on the vasectomy. Getting a vasectomy. Yeah, baby. Snip, you snip, snip. You're, You're done, done. I'm done. You can just shoot I'm, up the club and yeah. just no repercussions. Yeah, three months or so. Uh, okay. Sorry. We're yeah. Bum rushing this episode. Are you okay talking about your vasectomy? Are you public? We can, we can talk about it. Uh, All right. <laughs> episode 74 uh, Method and Madness Two, Single four. Grain Irish Whiskey. No, now, nothing about it. it you was, know nothing about so, it. It's got one of those fancy bottles and one of those fancy labels. You know, I'm a sucker for uh, <laughs> aesthetics. I know. It's one of those things that seems very like... Shallow of me? Uh, no, 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 oh, no. Not okay. shallow. It's one of those bottles that feels very... I don't know. Like they tried too hard. Like Drake would have made it. You know what I mean? Like it's like, like why is gin. why is the bottle so odd? Because the why liquor is, probably tastes it's like terrible. All this like modern art on the front. It was probably made by a millennial or a celebrity. One of the two. All right. <clears throat> yeah. So that's, that's crazy. It's got little ridges on the side. To Mike's point, it does kind of look like method. A, it was method and madness. I know nothing about it. Um, let's check. This. It I love like I general. love uh, the spirit right. shop, but uh, I was on the way here and. We're not recording on our regularly scheduled day because uh, we had some, you know, just life was life in. And, uh, life was life in, baby. So this is, you know, when we're recording. And so I had to get here fast and it was, you know, my turn to pick up a bottle. So I went into my local shop in my new neighborhood and this is what they had, which this is the best of the new stuff they had. So, uh, you know, they had all the, you know, the, the staples, like the, the, you know, Key West, and all that stuff. But I was like, oh, what's this? And he was like, oh, it's newer. So this is at a, a, a much higher price point. Interesting. Yeah. Do tell. Seven, 71 bucks. $71 yeah. for Method and Madness. And wow. then there's a, uh, another one that's like 102 Oh, What's the okay. difference? Is it just aged longer? I didn't. I didn't. I couldn't. I was on my way here. I didn't even have enough time. I told him I was going to be here at seven. I got here at seven oh six. You know, I was pushing it. I almost hit a deer. So, for a little context, <laughs> sprung from the minds of masters and apprentices, method and madness is whiskey that pays heed to tradition while searching for unordinary. Period. That's weird. While searching for unordinary. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a little bit of an odd sentence, but I also. I'm a little dumb. Um, this release asked the question, how will virgin Spanish oak affect a light single grain whiskey without giving too much away? The two but, uh, the two made very good partners. Okay. Um, very weirdly We're going to skip some sentences, but yeah, nose, right. taste, finish. There are some notes on the bottle. There we go. Uh, oh. Okay. So for nose, this is, this is what I'm talking about. This is why this is, when I said this is an odd bottle, uh, pencil shavings. Inside? That's what the nose is. The nose oh, is pencil shavings. Oh, Take go ahead and read it. No, 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 read it. Uh, pencil shavings, Sorry. light rose petal, fresh rain on <laughs> pine. Fresh rain on pine. It's Yeah, it's like a joke almost. That's a, that's uh, a, the taste. a nest right there. Yeah, The taste, toasted oak, 
oddly specific. Peeled grapefruit, wood spices, and the finish, sweet cereal, clove spice, fresh mint. Oh, this is about to be trash. This is about to be real weird. (laughs) Uh, Okay. Uh, While on the topic of, you know. This is something ASAP Rocky made. That's that's kind of what I'm I'm saying. On the topic of things weird, let's talk vasectomies. Sure. You're done. You're Mike, done having kids. We're done. How old are your kids? Mike, Mike is continuing safe. to sub for us on episode <laughs> 74. <is> <laughs> because these Hello. guys, um, I denied the PTO request and they just took time took off anyway. You yeah. have two children. Yes. Boy, girl. Yes. Situation. My, my son is three and my daughter turned one on Wednesday. Now, was that just luck? Congrats. Was that just luck of the you. Irish that you wound up with boy, girl? That's kind of the True perfect luck. situation, right? True luck. Most we're, people we're would like, say. We are done. We okay, got it. and so yeah, God loves you. Did you did you guys go into this feeling like two was the number, or were we, you? I am an only child, so I was like, we could do no kids or one kid. I'm fine. Likewise, with that. I'm the same. And yeah. then my wife was like, "How about two? And that took some convincing. And then it, I'm not joking; it happened the first try. Uh, and two happened the first try, or one? The, the, okay. No, the first. Like, okay. so we were trying for like we were trying for like six months, and then she got pregnant. Uh, the week. The, the week everything shut down for the pandemic, we did the math is when she got pregnant. We found out on like Easter. A lot was, of, damn. A lot of, it was crazy. Bumping and grinding. Yeah, yeah. We had a lot of time on our hands. And All then, right. um, and then uh, the second kid just came way faster. And then yeah. we were like, boy, girl, we're out. And yeah. uh, so You're yeah, out the snip, game. snap, snip, snap. Damn, dude, out the game. Yeah. We Good had those, you. those, those talks. Cause I got girl, girl. Yeah. And yeah. we were like, do we want to try again? Yeah. And we both looked at each other very tired and said no. Yeah. Like if we had, a, if, the, if, the, if our daughter ended up being a boy, we were like, well, we could try for another girl. And I was like, I don't want three I boys. I don't care enough. enough. I have two people that. Would you, no. yeah. would you, if you could, I'm mm-hmm. sure you can, would you modify, <laughs> genetically speaking, <laughs> To ensure Always the 50 50 split. Like, if you could go in Knowing. and just be like, hey, we want boy girl, doctor's like, no problem. Take this pill, whatever. I don't know. Bang, Injection. Bang. Yeah. It, you'll get a girl. No side effects. No side effects. I mean, in theory, like we don't know. They've, it's not. We can't. We can't project. Can't predict. <laughs> One ear's a little take this in some like lab Can't predict like the what a hundred years are going to do for you. But I'm just saying, like yeah, you know, I, I you get so. pregnant, and then like, do you want it to be a boy or a girl? And you're like, I want it to be a boy. Injection. You got a boy. I'm just saying, if you could, I, would you? I guess. But then there's also the fun and like, oh, what are we going to get this time? Did I don't you, know. But did you did you find out like? We we went to like a Early? sonogram. We, like, yeah. we found out like so uh, you knew. twelve weeks or some twelve or eighteen. I don't know. But if they told weeks. you like, oh, it's a boy, and you were like, damn, I already have one, and it's they're like, like, well, we can <laughs> we, we can flip it for you. <laughs> that was, if we can flip it for you, yeah, yeah, I think I would. I mean, it's not my call; it's her call. But yeah, yeah, yeah I I'd be I'd be like, yeah, I'm I'm down if you're down. Okay. Let's just let's. It, the, they gave you a knob and it was like, you turn the knob, this ends up a boy or this ends up a, a girl. A girl. Yeah. It's like, yeah, it's like yeah. the whole organic versus GMO debate. Yeah. I ain't mad at GMO. Whatever. Yeah. We're all right. So I think I do it. I okay. think I do it. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. All right. So you've lined up the vasectomy. Way mm-hmm. to go. Good for Congrats, you, man. Congrats, dude. Congrats, dude. Way, to, way to get into the game and win. And, get out, and get out of the game. Get in and get out. Get out while you're while it's hot. Yeah. 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 Good Respect. for you, man. Very good. All right. <laughs> so like 98%? It better be. I I told the. I want to tell the doctor on Wednesday. I'm going to be like, listen, take my balls. I don't care, man. Ninety eight percent. Like I don't need them. Is that really? Is that true? Is ninety eight percent? It's not a hundred percent. It's not a hundred percent. Like they can be reversible, and like I don't. I don't know what the conversation is going to be, but like I'm going to be like, listen, if you can make it reversible, don't. Like just like I want zero percent chance. Take it out. Scramble. Take it out. Don't, don't leave the tube. Scramble no. it up. Scramble it up. As long as it, the machinery still works. It's I don't. Got, I don't. Real dark. You're yeah. awake for it. I found that out. Yeah, yeah my brother in law had one. I think yeah. it's like a pretty quick procedure. Like you're in it's and a, out. It's dude. a slit. It may be like this big. It's snip snap. Yeah. yeah, like you said. We've started two shows talking about dicks, which is <laughs> crazy. But anyway, um, 2024, baby. 2024, destiny, dude. Yeah, I don't know but con- you. congrats to you, man. Yeah, Thank you. Back. Thank you. Good Thank to you. have you back too. Thank um, you. Two shows in a row. All right, so we were diving into. We were briefly diving into some of the Grammys, but. Uh, you you had, had some a, thoughts? Yeah, a question for you. So I saw Far away. they were giving Taylor some heat uh, about 
uh, her kind of just she uh, her award was presented by Celine Dion, who is one of the goats as far as women's music yes. is concerned. I, I sure. consider her like top tier, of course. Um, and she was specifically brought out to present this award because they kind of knew who was going to win in advance and Taylor was going to like break a record or something yeah, like that yeah, by yeah, winning yeah. this award. And you, I saw, you know, on timeline, uh, not too far after the Drake post, they were talking about Taylor and saying that she just kind of not dissed, but kind of just took the award and just went right to the mic. Where Yeah. So I've heard of, not to cut you off. I've heard a couple. I did not watch the Grammys. No, I didn't either. Let me provide some context. Did not watch. I, did not I watched watch from Celine Dion for like 20 minutes before Celine Dion. I think I tuned in. I got a text about Jay-Z accepting an award. Then I saw him accept it. And I was like, oh, you're going to get some heat for that. And I turned it off. <laughs> I, I heard that there was some odd behavior on Taylor Swift's part mm-hmm. in a, on a variety of fronts. There was a couple of weird things that she did. Um, so it wouldn't surprise me if she hit the stage, she came in a little hot on the award. But she just won album of the year. So Come let's on. see. Well, I'm confused about his record and then album of the year. Record is song. Song, right. Album is the whole thing. So album of the year, let's see. John, uh, John Batiste. Are these really the records that were not, the albums that were nominated this year? Is yeah. this what came out? Yeah. You know how um, I heard about Boy Genius? I was at a Shell gas station. You know they have the TVs mm-hmm. yeah. at, the, at the pump? And mm-hmm. they played the song. I was like, oh, this is a really good song. Yeah. I mean, I don't know about this list. but oh, list, I agree. I, I feel like this is a soft <laughs> list. I enjoyed Olivia Rodrigo's record I, yeah but it's not gonna it's not gonna best the midnights no and i'm not i'm not like a big midnights like supporter i'm just saying I, out of all of these like obviously that's a bigger record yeah i mean there's a uh, i'm biased SZA, I, I like scissors joint i don't think it should be album of the year though uh i didn't hear lana del rey's i didn't even know it was i need to check that out mm. uh i feel like miley, miley cyrus is kind of like a plant i don't um how'd you feel about miley's new hair very strange very uh is that, that? Is very that, 80s is that like 80s that? yeah Blowout. Very, I smoked. What you think? Very after she won her award, went out and smoked a cigarette. God bless, dude. Didn't her boyfriend, or I don't know if that's her husband. I think uh, it's her husband. That's now. such a dope vibe. The hair? <laughs> dude, the hair with a Grammy smoking cigarettes Smoke? out. Oh, yeah. Behind yeah, yeah, yeah. the I, that, Out yeah. by like a dumpster I'll, out I'll back. back. Oh, yeah. my gosh. When can dude. we get out of here? <laughs> yes. Dude. Look Just, at that, dude. Look uh, at that. Look at that crust ash. No. Who's that guy? That's her uh, boyfriend, are, Max Mirando. Those are coke eyes. All right, Max. Let's look at those eyes. Max with two X's. I don't know about nice that. Nice teeth, but she's yeah, she's, she's blitzed she's right on now, it, bro. He's Worked blitzed up. <laughs> that's some. I'm glad they found each other. I'm happy Let's for go, anybody dude. that's happy. I will say he if, doesn't look as happy. He doesn't look as there for They're kind of both horrifying <laughs> in that photo. <laughs> I used to think Miley was kind of cute. Remember, like, uh, here's, hip, the, thing with, here's the thing with Miley. She's so, she's such a dynamic artist in person. Like she's she can look incredible one day and, and absolutely not, insane the and next look day. Absolutely insane the next. Like I heard Grammy night here. Yeah, I don't know. I will I say know. I was not thrilled at the fact that they glazed over. So in previous years, I've I've only watched the Grammys a few times. My wife watches them, um, and. They, there's one year where Billie Eilish's brother Phineas won for producer of the year. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they didn't talk about that at all in this Grammy. They just, they there was a winner and it was a uh, surprise. It was Taylor Swift's producer. Um, but they didn't like have like a thing for it, at least as far as I'm aware. No, a lot of the awards are given like, so I, you know, we're mm-hmm. big music guys. We both work yeah. in music and you too. Shit. All three of us. Um, the Grammys are like an all day Thing. There's a lot of awards yeah. that are not aired. It's Killer Mike, like new. yeah, you can win awards for album art. Like there's yeah. there's all kinds of awards. yeah. Killer like, Mike won three rec or three and then got arrested. Grammys and then got arrested before anything even happened. He did something. So I I did I did uh, a little research on that. Killer Mike. Uh, he's associated with Outkast. He was an artist signed to Outkast's label. Run the jewels. Run. Yeah, he's run the jewels. He's he's been around forever. Yep. 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 He like. Muscled somebody, yeah, 
in the crowd. But there's no video or photo of it. Right. And that person was like, well, I'm calling the police. Mm -hmm. And they showed up and arrested him. So, uh, I mean, he's out now. You know, he'll get his just, you know, just due in court or or whatever. But um, he won Hip Hop Album of the Year. Now I got to check that out because I'm like, I didn't even know he had an album out. Mm -hmm. A lot, you know, so much music these days and uh, so much comes so fast that you just can't absorb it all. Yeah. Uh, Pause. I feel like an old person for not knowing the new artist. I don't know who Victoria Monet is. Very, very, uh, very good. My wife's a fan. Very good uh, R&B artist. Uh, I thought it was going to be Ice Spice. I just thought, I, I thought the... Uh, I yeah, that's so not, weird. I this is this TikTok isn't, and Instagram. This isn't the BET Awards. I think I know. <laughs> I, know. <laughs> I, think I know everybody on that list except for Victoria Monet. Uh, yeah. Ice Spice. Oh, Jelly Roll. I, now, now, Jelly Roll is a, is a surprise that he didn't win. Didn't he win uh, like the country? He's he too, won that he's one, too yeah. country, dude. But he's he's he's, 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 like, he's still an artist. He's like the country post. I'm own. not taking it away. I'm not taking it's it crazy. away from him. I'm True. just saying he's too country. He's he he's cleaning up on the country. Like circuit. oh yeah, he's like he's winning all the awards yeah. there. He's in gonna his struggle. conference. If it was like yeah. the AFC, yeah, yeah. he's, he's gonna struggle sixteen here. and oh, he's yeah. killing them. Yeah, he's, I, I didn't know that Metro Boomin was. Uh, it's a handicap. Potentially, it was a Grammy well, producer of the year. Oh, yeah. he's killing him. I mean, he's amazing. Him and Hit Boy, or he did. Didn't he do the Spider Man movie? Yes, he did. Yeah, that's, that's probably why awesome. he's there. That's probably why he's there. Damn. That's fucking awesome. What was he songwriter? I don't know any of the songwriters. Solo pop performance. A lot of these, I I recognize a lot of these names because you know I'm a big SNL person. I watch Saturday Night Live every. Weekend. I'm privy to Olivia. She Ray was there Rodrigo. last two, last weeks. She's awesome. I know the girl that plays bass for Olivia Rodrigo, so I'm a little biased on that, but. Um, but she lost. So much dope she did stuff. Lose. She lost, dude. So cut that tie. <laughs> <laughs> so you Block were. That number. <laughs> you were talking. What are you talking? We're traveling. You talking about going somewhere? I want this? to. I need to. Hasn't traveled for a while. I haven't traveled. You haven't while. traveled. Yeah, in a while. I haven't been out of Maryland in maybe a year, man. I've. Where's the last I've, place you went? Uh, New York, because I, I mean, maybe. Did you fly there or drive there? No, I drive. I drive. Right, where's I the last place there. you flew to? Take the train. Oh, when's the last, last time place you boarded I a plane? Flew was with or without a door plug. <sighs> I wish I was like the row of the door plug. See, I do. I want that fifteen hundred. <laughs> uh, if I, you're in the I think row I went to Cali. of the door plug, you're getting way more than fifteen hundred in the row. If you're the row of the door plug, you throw your shoe. What are you guys talking about? You the door, door plug that blew off the flight. The, oh. the thing that flew out of the plane. What I'm saying is, is if there was nobody in the window seat, if your window seat and the wall, and the wall to your left or right explodes <laughs> <laughs> and you survive, you get back down to. I'm throwing, I'm throwing one sneaker out the You're window. You're getting so much more than $1,500 in like, you know, Delta points. You're going to be fine. You're going to get a big payday. There's, you got to. There was a you flight. Have have to. To. <laughs> There's no way you, you have don't to, get bro. a heavy check. A year worth of flights. I don't even want to. Just give me a year. I, first year. of all, no. I don't want points. I don't want- You want the I cash? Want, I don't want flight dollars. Nothing. I need cash. You think for two seconds, if the door <laughs> plug blows out next to you, that you're going to be like, let me just travel a ton on your in the airline. next 12 on your, on your, airline? <laughs> on yeah, your nah. planes? Hell no, dude. There's if a- you, oh my God. You wouldn't get on a plane again. Mm-mm. I don't think it's stopping me. You've been if in car you, accidents and you get back in cars. It's a different vibe. It is. Because <laughs> you can hit like a deer. You're like, oh, I'll get my car back in two days. It's a different that door vibe. door flies off, bro. It's first of all, I, trust I hate for door. us to keep coming back to it. <laughs> but it's just a, a, it's just a, such an asinine thought that, you know, you're if on the, a plane. If the wall next to you on the flight blows, blows out. out at 40,000 feet. My AirPod Max, I said this on a day, fly <laughs> off my head. I'm I'm in my seat your, getting like rocked because that wind is so crazy. Your life will change forever. Do you you just become a preacher? Like you I you, don't know what I don't know what's I'm just telling you. You can build a career as an influencer <clears throat> based on sitting in the row. Of yeah, the you'll flight. be on you could go on every podcast. Good you'll morning, America. Fine. Yeah, the guy Logan that survived. Paul. The door plug. Tucker Carlson. So 
anyway, in Russia. Door plug aside. <laughs> door plug aside. The last place you went was California. I think it was California. And that was yeah. years ago? Nah. Two years ago? Yeah. Would you, where'd you go? LA? Long, Long Beach. Okay. Oh, LA. You know, yeah, LA. Same place. So no big trips lined up for you now, but you're thinking uh, about my, it. So my- what is your what does what does your wife want to do? So right, let me tell you. The problem with that. us right now is that our kids are still very little. Yeah. And work has I do have a full time job mm-hmm. that has just like just taken off within like the last two years. Yeah. yeah so it's yeah. been really hard for me to like separate myself because I'm also doing the work that I love to do, but I'm also learning a lot, and I don't want to, you know. Let me ask you this. So it this doesn't is, look that bad. Sorry, I've never seen this. Can you imagine how relieved you'd be to hit the ground? Like, oh uh, yeah, I'm, I'm jumping all, out of the door relieved, as soon as the plane lands. I'm relieved to hit the ground, even when the doors don't blow off Same. the plane. Have you guys been on planes um, and people clap when it lands? Hate it. Yeah, I don't yeah, like yeah. that. Uh, well, <laughs> it's been when it's like a dicey landing, which I understand. I've never been on a plane where like there's nothing going on and people just start clapping. I've, I've been on a plane two. where it's been like a rocky thing oh, and yeah. the guys you know the pilot's been like we're it's gonna be a rough landing we're i mean if high. the flight's more than two hours <clears throat> i'm already knocked out by the time yeah xanax and whatever jameson's i can get on the plane so back <laughs> to back to the travel thing <laughs> hypothetically let's say you're let's say you have something going as on. much time off as you want yeah. i know you got the job thing it's crazy right now yeah is the does the wife itch to go somewhere like is your wife totally dialed into traveling like at a High, high, high level. level. My wife likes to travel. Yeah. But like, she talk about it a lot? Yeah, she's hounding me right now. because my. Where does she want to go? This is going to sound real ghetto of me, but my passport expired like uh, a no, couple I, months ago. And I, I get that. I just haven't done it. I just yeah. been like lazy about it. And she's calling me all kinds of slurs inside of our home. So I need to <laughs> get my passport. <laughs> so you're going international. Yeah, we got to do it. Where I, are you going? I turned 40 this year and she's like, get, get. Get the effing passport. So where do you want to go? I don't want to. I don't want to go anywhere. This is what I'm trying to. Get I don't at. care where we go. Like I'm go that. Six, I'm that person. To go to Canada. I don't. I don't. Where are you going? As long as I got my wife and alcohol, I don't. Where does well, she? We could so go to sweet. Arizona, bro. I don't go. care. That's where so does she want to go? Um, my wife's a foodie, so okay. wherever there's good food. She's probably yeah. going to take me somewhere. I feel like you've for, not had these conversations with your wife. Because <laughs> nah, every- You're glazing over it. I'm every, not de- no, because my point is like every single day I'm alive <laughs> in the last year. Yeah. Since we just, since we got back from our last trip. Your wife is like- My wife is talking about Italy. Oh, you got to go. Every day. Yeah. Yeah. You got to. So what I'm saying is, does your wife do that about anything? You're saying as long as there's two. Oh, what my I'm saying wife. is, do you come home and she's like, hey, did you see the six TikToks I sent you about- Oh my God. You know, Greece? Are you, do you have cameras in my home? No, she sent me TikToks about like food and like being a better husband. <laughs> <laughs> food and like- Well, those are manageable. Yeah, like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> take, a, take a cooking class, bro. Stuff like that. You know what right. Okay. So you're, you've but, got nothing done. But you've we all respectively get- uh, fifteen TikToks from our wives mm-hmm. daily that you cannot catch. It's it's a goalpost moving thing. I can't. I, get I can't catch up. So many things as it relates to Italy on my phone every day. I can't keep track of it. Like it's dozens, and then I get in trouble for not for not looking having around. mentally like logged all logged of them. all of them and organized all of them, like. I've not planned the trip already based upon the trip, like the things she's. You saying. don't have the itinerary and the flights and no, the. No. Like, yeah. 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 I get the same. I get no. s- uh, some of that stuff. I'm, I am really, you know. It's. I don't mind. Here's it's the tough thing. being a husband. It's. I don't mind travel. I'm fine with it. It's. I like. <laughs> I, I enjoy the adventure. Honestly, do. Um, it's just been like. <laughs> It's been hijacked by my wife. <laughs> yeah. Travel is for yeah. her now. And I am the, uh, an accessory to the travel. Well, not um, yes. The I yes. I'm top like tier accessory. Yeah. But, I'm like yeah. security. I am travel planner. Oh, I am okay. like yeah. booker of things. I I kind of have to adopt all responsibility. And she's like, let's go. said trip. 
That's a lot of pressure. You got binoculars, a travel a planner. Bag, I mean, I've never like, been to Italy before, so I got to do a lot of this, you know. We talked last year, France, right? We went, no, we did Anguilla last An- year. Anguilla, yeah. Which is Dutch? French? <laughs> sure. Something? We can figure this out. We. What I, is Anguilla? Look this up. How do I think you it's spell Dutch. it? A-N- Anguilla, A-N-G-U-I. I thought it was Latin. Ella, right there. Yep. Uh... We it's not Spanish? In, uh, we did Anguilla. Uh, British. British, there we go. So we did Anguilla. We did that uh, last year. And then the year before that, we did France in mm. London. Oh, Paris. London. South yeah. of France Anguilla to Paris. Anguilla looks terrible, dude. <laughs> well, let me tell you, dude. It's a real pain in the ass to did get there. Did you have to do like a little puddle jumper to get there? Um, From like the we main? We took two planes, two oh, planes I, and I then I have a stories. Boat. Two planes and a boat, my guy. <clears throat> and a boat. Wow. But to be fair, really out there. it is gorgeous. It's incredible. I've heard it's Anguilla definitely, is beautiful. Yeah, it's it's uh Charlemagne it's the God uh mm-hmm. talks about but yeah, Anguilla um, a lot. Yeah, I got you know it's got like property out there. Travels the, of course it does. Him and Andrew Schultz. It can't ever be something simple. That's all that I'm saying. <sighs> so yeah, being a husband is great. Cheers. All right. So you're not Cheers. going anywhere soon. Oh, uh, we will. Where you are. Absolutely. But when um, you get the passport, where are you going? I don't. I don't know. Wherever my wife. If you could pick somewhere to go. If I could pick, I'd. Let's say it was up to you. I'd go to the Waffle House in Delaware. (laughs) It's got to be international, dude. (laughs) Oh, all right. If I got to leave the country anywhere in in the world. uh, Yeah. Just because I haven't been there yet. Uh, Madagascar. That's not Anguilla. I was like, this does not scream Anguilla. (laughs) No, I don't know what that is. <laughs> that, what you're looking at, is not in Guilla, but I'm I, sorry. I, no, I was Madagascar. joking. No, I was is joking. Uh, Brazil, man. I kind of want to see Brazil. City of Gods is like one of, my, really? one of my- Really? One of my- Really? Yeah. I was adopted you from Recife. Go to, you, got a, you got some tan to you. You want to go to Brazil. Are you a brown person? When's the last time- Technically. <laughs> when's the last time you were in Brazil? Yeah. Uh, when I was three months old, so 1993. Mm. So you can't really be like a tour guide for anybody. No, nah, no. Nah. One of my- all time favorite movies Damn. is uh, City of Gods, and I've always just kind of been like, I'd love to go to Brazil one day. This is where I was born. Hold on, you were the, born at the Recife. Recife. Yeah. Recife. On so the coast. Like very like. Oh tip. wow, it's out there. Oh, yeah. Damn, dude. Yeah. So my parents had to fly to Rio, Rio de Janeiro to get out to get in, and then take like an eight hour flight because yeah. I don't know where Rio oh, is. Oh, so you go, you fly in, and then you it's fly like, in. It's like ten hours, and you fly like fourth four, largest like American. a bunch of more hours. It's like to flying here. to BWI to go to the Super Bowl in Vegas. Like yeah, you gotta fly and then in, and then fly somewhere else, and then to get back, same thing. It was a nightmare. It's got I'm be- sure. Does it, have, does it have beautiful beaches? Yeah. So my dad had. Uh, this is in 1993, so his film cameras, he had like this photo album and he would go on like 10 mile walks on the beach every yeah. morning. Nice. And he would he would go and I looked through the album recently and it's just a bunch of pictures of chicks in bathing suits. <laughs> just like <laughs> Now I gotta meet your dad. <laughs> I didn't just get these He's stories. got that dog in him. Got that, um, he got that dog in him. Yeah, he is I have some crazy stories. Well, he has some crazy stories that he I'm told sure. me about there. Yeah. yeah. So why right. why did you guys move from Brazil to Maryland of all places. Your what parents. You no, they they're they're from here. My dad's from New Jersey. But you were born in Brazil. Yeah, and they just adopted me from there. Wait. I'm sorry, I don't know this about you. You didn't know I was adopted? No. Well, not welcome. at all. Yeah. Okay. So they adopted you from Brazil. Mm-hmm. Awesome, man. Yeah, when I was three months old. Yep. Two months old. They smuggled you out. Smuggled me out. Got they almost out didn't get me out of there. That was that's a whole other story. Was for it a legitimate time. smuggling? Like, was it not legal? No, it was, it was very legal. But that like, would be a but story. countries don't want to let go of their own citizens. So like, really? So mm. like, natural born citizens. Yeah, natural born citizens. So then, like, it was, it was like my mom was there from when I was three months or two months old until I was six months old to get you out just to get me out. And it was like going to like the courthouse, like on a weekly basis, like, Hey, got this kid. He's been with me. We're trying to get I him out of here. Like control of this yeah, kid. Cause like here's all me. the legal paperwork. Mm. And then they're like, uh. they're like, not this week, try again next week. And then like all of a sudden they're like, all right, you can go and you have to be out of here by tomorrow. So like, Oh, they were treating you like merchandise. Yeah. yeah it was crazy. Like you can't just leave yeah. our property with this hot commodity. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Props to your folks, so yeah, man. once they got out, like once, like my mom was like, we weren't like comfortable until we we were outside of the Do country. Do you have dual citizenship? No. Are your mm-hmm. parents spies? No. 
Okay. Are you going to go back to Brazil? Like, do you have a interest to go? (sighs) No, it doesn't interest me. Nothing. You don't want to like speak out Okay, so where are you going international? Um, My father-in-law, Ireland, really, I I love like the dreary, cold, like, like, rainy stuff yeah, and then my wife and i well, we're gonna do that with the kids like when they're just old enough to remember it so it's not like a waste of a trip yeah, and yeah. then uh when they're old enough to like fend for themselves then her and i are gonna go to italy for sure yeah yeah, yeah. when my kids can like text we're we're back on our international yes yeah. oh yeah yeah yeah, that yeah man all right, respect. I'm nice, getting, man. I'm getting saddled up. Isn't that crazy? It's crazy how the world works. I'd say I want to go to Brazil. I find out he's a smuggled uh, yeah. infant out of yeah. Brazil. Please don't, I don't deport think me. Your wife's gonna go to Brazil. <laughs> Are, do you have dual citizenship? <laughs> no, you asked <laughs> this. I did. Yeah, no, I'm I don't. Sorry, but I didn't I, hear. Him. I am a citizen. You just asked. I am a citizen. That's dope. Literally, I do have. A, I do have. I, I, I missed it. I'm I do have paperwork, um, <laughs> like a welcome to the country that was signed by Bill Clinton, like actually signed. Oh, dope. Oh, the rabbit yeah. hole gets deeper. Hell gets deeper. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you technically have ties to Monica Lewinsky. Technically. It's crazy. <laughs> so, that's how the world works. That's right, dude. She wasn't that far from here at a time. She yeah. was just down the road. Just down the road. Just down the road, dude. All right. <clears throat> Let's take a look. What's next? Uh, what are we talking about? Hmm? Let's talk about uh, Method and Madness. Fair enough. We can get into it. You said Method of Madness? Method and Madness. Madness. Oh, the method music. and madness. I'm not mad music. at it. What do you think? I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be terrible. Tasting. Yeah, yeah. I thought um, it was going to taste like soap. Yeah, it's, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's not great. It's not bad. I feel like it's seventy. It's high. I feel like yeah, for the cost, it's it's. This should be forty five dollars. Like I thought it was good. I liked. I think the traveler a little. Better. There is something a little. The traveler was more full. Dude, this is, is a little bland. There is something in it, like taste wise, that's it's a little off. But it's it's like look at their website. It's being advertised like basically like a Japanese whiskey, but it's Irish. Like look at these look at these backdrops. Yeah, this is weird. I saw this and was like, hmm. And then I scrolled and saw that and was like, well, I bet Jared Leto is behind this. <laughs> I wouldn't be mad. At it. Like I'm not mad at it. I wouldn't be mad that you bought it. But if, it, it's I, not I, I terrible. Would, I would put it in the fifty dollar range, probably more than I. Would it's way overpriced. I'm paying twenty bucks for the bottle. But it's yeah, yeah just again, for the it's got that looks. like Did, it's got that fancy bottle. Look at this website. What is this? They keep accentuating this the bottle is, and not this the drink. This is a lot, yeah. dude. This is what you're paying for. This is why it's seven dollars. You're, you're paying for the guy that website. made this website. Yeah, trash. this is terrible. This is insane. Not to trash your website method of madness, but this is trash. Uh, your whiskey's not bad though. Yeah, single I wouldn't. Cream. I wouldn't be upset at it. That's 31? a thirty-one year yeah. old single cask. That around? right there has That's probably to... the good one. So go. I'm Damn, sorry. Go, go back down, Mike. So the the single thirty-one. Wait. So what we have right here is a That's single this grain, one. right? Yes, yeah, that that one there is the hundred nine. So I picked that one up first. The the bourbon the barrel, one? the, the green one. Barrels, yeah. And I got to the counter because it was on the shelf as sixty nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My favorite number, and I I. I'm like, she's like, all right, 107. And I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, it says 69 on the shelf. And she's like, it's 107. And I was like, I, I don't, I'm not going to go back and forth with you. I'm not getting that. Yeah. And then the guy comes over and he's like, oh, my bad, dude. It was in the wrong place. Let me show you. There's two. So someone had like put oh, it back in the wrong spot. In the wrong spot. In the wrong spot. And I was like, I've never had this before. And I'm sure at $109, I'd be satisfied, but I'm like- You would hope, yeah. Yeah, but I was like, "Eh, let me just get the other one just to be safe. My sense is is that it's probably, their entire lineup is probably slightly overpriced. Yeah. But again, because of like the fancy bottles. This bottle has like- The hiccups. You hear that? Yeah, this bottle's weird. Odd bottle. Uh, were we contrasting it to Newport cigarettes? Yeah, I saw the. Yeah, yeah I was wondering why <laughs> that saw, was I there. saw this. I, the bottle has the bottle color, colors. like their yeah. colorway that they did with the sure. bottle, just I caught my sure. eye. <laughs> were you a smoker ever? Did you ever smoke cigarettes? I have smoked cigarettes. I would. I don't ever consider. I never. You were a social smoker. I've never like. I work. We all worked at Apple. It's, I've smoked a cigarette. Yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> never have. Never. Never. Okay. 
once in your life. Not never. one time? You've never, never held a cigarette in your hand. Never in my life. I swear to God. Really? You've never swear. been to Frasier's and God. stood outside. Well, and some, and if you've been to Frasier's, you've, you've yeah, smoked a cigarette. Smoked a cigarette. Yeah. I've been to Frasier's, never smoked a cigarette. Well, you have. I've been, <laughs> you have I've been there with Tom Weber and yeah. did not smoke a cigarette. Oh, God. <laughs> but you did other things. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, dude, Shout out you, to Tom Weber, you've, been to, you've been to record theater before <laughs> yeah. cigarettes were... Um, yeah, I've smoked a cigarette. When they were allowed, I was doors. never a cigarette smoker, but I've, I've smoked You've a cigarette. Have you? Definitely had a cigarette. Oh yeah, of yeah. course. What's your? I don't want to say favorite because you were never a cigarette. Smoker. No, I don't. So here's the thing: if you're gonna, um, sm- you I, had, I had a, a, so social smoking on the cigarette front. I I had a phase of cigars, so we'll start. Yeah, with that. cigar phase. Cigar phase, and I still enjoy a cigar periodically. But Maybe I was in into it. I had a little humidor. I was like into it. I was like kind of you, you know, kind of decide wanted to see if it was your. Thing. I was dipping my toes, dude. I was yeah, dipping yeah, my yeah. toes, uh, but I haven't haven't really waded into those waters in quite some time. But Same. social cigarettes was a thing for sure. Let's talk about social uh, cigarettes. There was a time and a place, yeah. but dude. <laughs> I think this is the fun topic. Um, it's not something a lot of no, people talk about. No, but it's been yeah. making like a re because obviously there was a huge period of time where like smoking cigarettes became like very uncool and very unpopular in movies and TV shows, et cetera, et cetera, right? Smoking's um, banned but everywhere. Recently, Can't smoke everywhere. It's yeah. been coming back. The so, social oh, smoker has been making a dude, a new emergence. Yeah. Well, it's been like made cool again, smoking cigarettes via, Timothy Chalamet via is, movies and TV yeah. shows. That thirty that thirty one year old bottle is a lot of money. No kidding, dude. If it's 31 years old, yes. <laughs> it's going to be very pricey. Yeah. Um, but it's been, you know, I do get an itch once in a while when you see him out there just you get an itch for a cigarette? looking cool with a cigarette. It's more of a look thing. Mm. More of a look and a vibe thing for me. I Yeah, it's a more of, it, it's like a look it feels and cool. a vibe in a situation. I don't wake up the next morning being like, man, I, no, I taste think, great. I Yeah, I think it's a Terrible decision. But, but when you're out and you've had one or two, I'm at a show, whiskeys or something, you know, and I'm outside, out, and, and my buddy's like, "You want a cigarette?" It's I might, yeah, I just might I say, might partake. Yeah, I'll it's take after a drag. it's after eleven one, o'clock. One two drags, and I'm like, this is stupid. Anything's you know? possible. You know, you're in that we only live once moment yeah. of the night, and <laughs> we only live once. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Yeah. I f- it's a, dude, I'm just saying I have a fond memory of it. I don't like, I'm not yeah. going to go smoke tonight. I'm just saying. We're not talking about anything illegal. We're talking about smoking cigarettes. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's just very right. frowned it's upon. Great. It's very frowned Socially upon. Socially frowned yeah. upon. What I'm saying is I think it's coming back. I do. I think, I think it's coming back. I'm not saying like smoking packs a day is coming back. What no, I'm saying is no. I think like being out, the aesthetic and a seeing cigarette like I'm like having, outside is like the smoke break. During your like bar hopping run is coming back. That's what I'm saying. I'm not mad at that. I said it here first. I haven't done a good bar hop in you a should while. Bring back the Towson bar, the bar hop. We did that for your birthday nah, one year. That, that was, was those were dangerous. Brutal. Brutal. That was so those brutal. were dangerous. Dude, dude. First of all, <laughs> <that's> a, <laughs> those are so bad. That's a young man's game. I don't. That's have, a young yeah. man's game. I was telling you my knee hurt coming out of the steps. <laughs> I don't have the wherewithal anymore. Nah, like the dude. tread. The last nah. time I like, I definitely that's a young man's game. Browned out. And was dancing with Anna at the what's the uh, bar across the street from the Wrecker? The bar across the street from the Wrecker. Well, there yeah. used to be there <laughs> used to be different now. ones. The new Soros one. Right. Is, Soros is used to be over no, there. No, no, down the hill more. Uh, like next, the point the is point. what it's called That's now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it but was something else at the time. Yes, I think. it was. Yeah. And I can't remember what the name was. Soros's was on the corner. Now it's a liquor store. But there was it something. Yeah, crazy, there was man. something right they next to that. Yes. That double sided bar. I can't remember what it was called. But anyway, neither here nor there. Yeah, beers around Towson is. It's a, it's rough. <laughs> it it either it it's never like all right. I had a good time. Go home. It's like it either like this is starting out terrible and I'm leaving. Yeah. Or it's ending terrible and I've been here and it's. Last call. Some it's things, never like I'm just gonna. Separate some myself. things need to slip into <laughs> myth and legend, though. And beers around Towson is one of those. Yeah, things. man. It can't be practiced all the time. Like in 20 years, somebody can be like read it, about it in a book and be like, "Dude, we shut gotta try this." Different yeah. times. Yeah, but we it can't. It's not something it that can be a live consistent forever. Thing, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. You create it, and then that's over. And you have to kill it. We did it twice before it gets too big, yeah. and it was the both of them. I was like, 
Oof. I did it a handful of times. So for anybody that's listening um, and is not familiar with what uh, Towson is, beers around Towson is Towson is like a small college town that's local to us. Most attached, people, a lot of people that listen will know what Towson is. North North Baltimore. Towson, there's a little bit of like a yeah. strip kind of in the Towson area, Towson corridor, if you will. And beers around Towson, uh, you would start at Wrecker uh, Rec Room, actually. So Oof. Rec Room was the name of the bar. My, you would start I'm there. Sticky floors. You would have one drink. And then you would have to bar hop sequentially to every other bar on the Towson Strip and consume one drink before winding up back at Rec Room before the night was over. And the whole goal was to be able to have your last drink at Rec Room. Yeah, yeah. not to die. Where you before, started, <laughs> circle, before and last back call, where you finished. Before last call, you yeah. had to do it. Yep, yep, yep. And it was, I don't know, at the time, maybe eight or ten bars or something like that. Yeah. Um. But it was- It's it, changed now. It's way more it, now. Correct. It was logistically, yeah. it was actually pretty hard to make it through all of them outside of like just being completely wasted by the end of the night. But like yeah. logistically, it was challenging to get in and out of all of them in a reasonable amount of time with just people checking IDs, et cetera. And like- And if you're moving, and moving nine, with a yeah, large yeah, group, because like sometimes yeah. you'd roll with like 25 people and for everybody to get a drink and consume it and then to wrangle everybody and go- um, but anyway, that was the whole concept. So if anybody is ever listening to this and wants to know I'm what a, that I'm is a, and try to bring it back, feel free, dude. I'm going to reminisce real quick. Start at Rec Room. Yeah. Go down the hill. Get a drink. Go back up the hill and come <laughs> back up the hill. And yeah. if you want to if you want to <laughs> take it to the ax, the absolute extreme, if you want to go all oh, the no. way, dude, <clears throat> if you want to go all the way, this is the elite of the elite have done this. You do it on Tuesday night. Oh. <laughs> Because at Rec Room, it's two for Tuesday. You two get for two Tuesday. drinks yeah, get for two the price for of one. one. So you're Why starting you would ever with two, do this on a Tuesday? starting with two, ending with two. And I think now Rec Room does like two for Tuesdays on like a bunch of nights. But back in the day, we did do it once or twice on Tuesday night. Crazy. Yeah. And yeah. the idea, you had to start with two and you had to end with two. It was uh, during those days we used to do that. I just thought it was such an interesting dynamic because you would just literally just run. So we all worked. At Apple during these days. Then you got the Towson College crowd. So many. And then you got the Morgan College crowd. And then everyone is converging in this one. Like two block radius. Yeah, in this two block radius. So even if you were like, all right, I'm going to start with my Apple, my work buddies. I'm going to walk into a bar. Now I'm running into all of my Morgan buddies. Mm -hmm. And now I've collected like three more people. Yeah. We're going to go down. We're going to go to Charles Village, uh, Charles Village Pub. CVP. Yeah. And then now I've, oh, I know some people who go to Towson. Mm -hmm. Or, uh, you know, my coworker goes to Towson. Now they've collected four people. Now we're like 16 people, you yeah. know, deep. And then we go to the next bar. We've lost nine. Now there's only five people, six people going to the next bar. And then you make it, finally make it back to Rec Room and there's three of you. Because you've lost, you literally lost people. Oh, yeah. You don't know where people are. People are no, throwing up in the definitely street. Definitely lose. People. It's literally just this, like this four <laughs> corner spot right here. You, you just lose people. You just lose people. It is pure chaos. It's amazing. It's amazing how they set it up. It's and chaos. it's in between two very big colleges and a and a and a retail. Uh, Huge mall. Huge mall. Like it's just We amazing. live super, super close to it, like half a mile from that strip, um, right by Coward Hall. And yeah. like I'll sometimes like if I'm going out to get like pick up dinner or something like that, uh, I went to get something like really late the other night and we just I just drove up York Road and was just like Look at all these idiots. And it's all the girls just like shivering cold. in front of the bar. I'm just like, oh, cold you, and two tops and 40 poor degree girls, weather. Poor kids. Smoking cigarettes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what a time. The golden years. I'm too old for that. Now. The golden years, man. What do you do? Now I start a podcast where I can drink every week. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you do. That's how you it's do it. Warmer. Oh, it's warmer. It's much warmer. And it's in cheaper. Here. Cozy. I have a seat. My friends can actually hear me. Yeah. And I'll have to talk over music. That's you know true. What I'm saying? It's all very true. Yeah. Anything coming out in theaters that you're excited about? Uh, uh, Deadpool three. Super excited for That's that. It's kind of far out, isn't it's it? It's May, right? It's May. It's for my birthday. Yeah. The, the tra oh, the trailer drops. Trailer comes in Super Bowl. Super Bowl. Oh, trailer. Uh, that's. I mean, and it's the only MCU release. Uh, this year. Ma so. Oh no, Madam Web. It's not MCU, is it? Nah. Technically, Sony, isn't that Sony? Sonyverse. Uh, Spider-Verse. But that's still connected. Doesn't that already hey, have like, yeah. doesn't that already have like awful press? Isn't everybody trashing yeah. it already? Because the people that were in it were like, we don't even know what we filmed. 
I mean, it's got There's so much. Yeah, screen. what's her? What's her name? Oh, Sydney she, Sweeney. No, who's the girl from Fifty Shades of Grey? Her, isn't it her? She's yeah, Madame Web, isn't she? she? Yeah, yeah, she's. Yeah. Um, oh, God, she just did sound like we'll have to. Let's pull it. Um, we pull up Madame Webb. Yeah, but she was saying let's stuff like we name. were shooting it, and Dakota I thought Johnson. this was terrible the Dakota entire time, Johnson. and I was like, there it is. "Why? How would you say that about your movie that's about to come out?" She's I not, get she has like this kind of this dry humor, but she always seems a little sad. She, she never seem seems sad. like she kind of you know? feels. Yeah, she seems like she found like she woke up and was an actress, and she was like, "This isn't really what I want." Adam to Scott's do. in this. Yeah, it's. Are you still? You're not. You're, you're not, not up here. I'm looking at whiskey prices right now. Yeah, you. you yeah. Why you am I not here? You I don't know, dude. I don't your know. Airplay stinks. I don't know, man. Yo, get your M1 Pro out of here, bro. Air, it, air, you got to upgrade it. They got, it. They got M3s know. now, man. Dog, I got an M1 Max in this thing. <laughs> if this if this isn't doing it, then nothing is. I'll disconnect. I'll come back. It's the uh, it's the remote that's dying. <laughs> so, <clears throat> um, I mean, since we're looking at a TV, my TV died the other day. It just died. It just. Just, Re up, dude. I did already. For like fifty bucks. My wife was they're old, throwing it. Bro. They're throwing four K TVs. They're throwing TVs at, TVs at you. So I was like, I was first. My initial instinct was, let's just hold tight, right? We got it Black Friday like two years ago. We didn't spend a lot on it. It was like a Friday. Sure. It was Target joint. It was like five hundred bucks. So we was like, all right, just yeah. just get it because it's here, right? Yeah. Uh, we needed. We wanted another TV, but a bigger one. Mm -hmm. You know, we got the kids. We're doing stuff. Just kind of want to be able to see stuff. It died instantly, okay. right? And I was like, all right, well. So now my wife is like, first of all, my wife hates broke shit. Like, that's not her. If it's broke, repl replace it ASAP. But I'm like, well, I mean, it's a TV. I'm, let's get it repaired. Sure. Call the Geek Squad. I don't know. Whatever, whatever. Geek Squad, baby. So, um, you she, don't repair TVs anymore. I don't, you yeah, don't I don't, you don't do it. You just get your money's worth and then just grab a new one. But I was so surprised. At the market, you it's can get so a cheap. super nice TV for under a thousand dollars now. Yeah, dude. Yeah, man. Huge TV. Yeah. So we replaced it. I picked it up today. Um, did a little Walmart Walmart pickup. Hell yeah, dude. That was terrible, but um, it's just interesting. Uh, yeah, dude. I went, I took Emily to speaking of Walmart. You uh, went to Walmart. Yeah, damn. Isn't it strange? Reisterstown. Reisterstown. Over by Owings Mills. No, no Walmart over there. Aren't That's they near each other? Liberty Road? You went to Liberty Road? Hold on. <laughs> Maybe. I got to see a map. Dude. I'd That's the only I Walmart in that show. area. Now, Probably. I am... Let's talk, that's why I picked the TV up. Let's talk about your experience. <laughs> okay. Bro, that's it's literally crazy. the Walmart you went to. It's the wild, wild west so over Walmart. Context, pretty, yeah. Dude, for context, Emily was like, you got to go to Walmart now. Walmart's <laughs> not that bad. Um, she's been hyping it up. She's been telling me... Time, like she tells me like three times a day how great Walmart is now. I don't know. Fine. I don't personally. I don't, I don't care. I don't, I don't do Walmart or Target. I don't. There's you do pick up Amazon, bro. I don't True. do anything yeah, yeah, yeah. like that. So yeah, yeah, I just yeah. I'm not. I don't do it. But she's Emily's old fashioned. She likes to go to a store. She got um, women got to look at the stuff. Wants man. to that's, go to the mall and lap it ten times and not buy a thing. Um, <laughs> but anyway, she's been preaching to me about Walmart and how great it is. Anyway, I was like, listen. I was like. I got to go to Barnes and Noble. Uh, there's a Walmart, according to the map, very close to you the Barnes You went to Liberty Road Walmart. So I was like, let's take her to You Walmart, made it out dude. safe? Yeah. That place is crazy. It does seem a little rambunctious. Dicey. Don't go to the Towson one, dude. It seems rambunctious. So here's the thing. Emily loves Towson and likes doing all things in Towson. She thinks that little Towson shopping corridor is like the tits. I hate, hate it. it. I hate it. I what, hate where it? Target is? Yeah. Oh, don't take me over there. Uh, Too crowded. Dude, I don't can throw a rock go. from my front door and hit that. Yeah. That, they listen, got a lot yeah. of stuff though. for you because of proximity. Yeah. Maybe yeah, it's what it you've got and yeah. it works. Extremely convenient. But it's not convenient geographically for me. No. And not You live in this weird No. Emotionally. It's no, because I can jarring. I can get on 83 right away and go up to Timonium and Hunt Valley, and there are WalMarts and there are Targets and there are all those and things good, right up there. It's good, safe white people out there. They're welcoming. <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> they see me there, like, like we're waving and shit. I friendo. Listen, <laughs> it's cool up there, man. You know <laughs> that? Nah, the, that that WalMart. Let me on be Liberty honest, Road? Dude. Come on, tell me about it. That's a I. It's crazy up there. There was a lot of <laughs> race aside. There was a lot of action. Action in the Liberty Road. A lot Walmart. of 
a lot of stuff. A dude, a lot of stuff. So you much gotta stuff. Be head on a swivel all the time. All the time. I don't like it. So when I go pick up the TV this morning, right? I'm texting my wife. I'm like, yo, I hate it here. <laughs> and she's like, Walmart. Uh, yeah, that could that, be. Up. Is that it? Liberty Road. I want to see if it has a star rating. It does. Uh, do a do a zoom out or do like a little directions Liberty to Plaza. that's it. Randallstown. Barnes and Noble. Yeah, that's it right there. That's it. That's it. Randallstown. We're good. So we're good. We're good. I'm that's texting it. her and I'm like, I hate it here. And she's like, Their prices are cheaper than Target. You can do your rounds in there. And I'm like. <laughs> I'm not getting out of the car. Like, nah, yeah, I'm not doing so it. So one of the odd things about this Walmart, too, is it's not like on the street. It sits it's, back. It's, it's tucked tucked way in back. the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to drive like behind a bunch of other businesses to even get to this Walmart. There's it no, sits up on a hill. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah there's, it's very daunting when you go to it. Because Walmarts there's, there just, is no easy way out. If things go south at that Walmart- mm-mm. You're stuck, dude. You're done. You're just You're done. stuck. <laughs> There's no easy exit. I almost went to that wine and spirit shop. Oh, that that liquor depot is amazing. I That's the one good thing about that place. Because I was thinking yes. these are the types of places that yeah. might have some, you know, hidden gems. Oh yeah, food. it's like a uh, it's like a total wines, but it's not. Uh, I knew I should have stopped. Yeah, by. it's not like a I, chain. We were coming out of the Walmart, and Emily was so traumatized by it. When I don't know why she was so stoked about it. To nah, with. man, I hate that. Walmart. She came out feeling like this was like she was a changed person. I didn't personally. I was like, this is to me like a, this is this Walmart, is Baltimore. Right? Like, yeah, it's, it's just no like whatever. Deal. Like yeah, yeah. Dude, she was walking in and she was like, oh my god, and I was like. What are you talking? Just relax, dude. It's fine. Like no one's gonna like shake you down. Oh no! Nah. Yeah, you're it's fine. just you're just in the middle of action. Wait, what were you guys in there to get? Right. That's what. I'm all about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Perfect. So, <laughs> excellent question. Um. So Emily is. Uh. Well, she is a part of some hosting of a Galentine's Day kind of thing amongst a bunch of ladies. I guess women, girls. I don't know. Um. And gals. They, gals. And they are constructing and putting together. She was at least putting together these like, I don't know, Valentine's Day gift bag type things. And they okay. were looking for. It's like I guess nineties or early two thousands themed was the idea. So they were trying to find things that were reminiscent of that time period and also of Valentine's Day. Cigarettes. So pff, cartons. That's my Valentine's. Day. <laughs> um, no, she. They were looking for like. Little Valentine's Day cards and like candies and like stuff you would uh, give like if yeah, you were in second grade stuff that exactly mm, like okay. if you were if you were in second grade you remember like when like they yeah, used to give out like I'm doing it right now Valentine's Day cards yeah. or whatever yeah that kind of shit like they're giving them to each other as grown women yeah frozen uh, listen <laughs> it's great I think it's awesome I support it knock yourselves out she has been running around to targets. Walmart's God knows where. Dude, she's put more effort into the Valentine's Day thing than she has in all of my Valentine's Days combined. Oh, no. Oh, 100%. Damn. 100%. Let it no, out. No, no, no. It's not like a let out. I'm just saying. <laughs> she's, been, she's been strategizing this for weeks and months. How many gals? Uh, I don't know if I had to get- Am I allowed I, to I say, would say I would say under- I would say loosely right under 20. Close 20 to gals? That's a lot of bags to mm, make. That's a lot of gals. I'm, I'm going to, yeah, 15, 20 maybe, something like that. That's There's a, a lot, lot of bags. Of I'm like, I'm, there have been a lot of That is a bags elementary miles. school class of gals. Yeah. Size of gals. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> elementary school. Uh-huh. I know. Yeah, that'll do it. I know, but that's what I'm saying. She had but all Walmart these bags had, lined yeah. up. She had all these, like, you know, Valentine's things, like, all coordinated. It's all done up, synchronized. There's a whole- A lot of gals. There's a whole scheme here. Mm. But I'm just saying, she's been really pouring in the effort. In Walmart. And um, let me tell you, dude, she'll, what the, her hack this year was, let's not do anything for each other for Valentine's Day. That's what she's always. Me. But you can't get away from that. Bullshit, Yeah, dog. BS. Do you guys Bullshit, normally do dog. stuff? So, yes. Um, yeah. Yeah. I think Emily probably, not to like dog her, but I think she probably <laughs> would rather not do stuff. What happens a lot of times is... And this is all like in earnest, to be fair. But she will be like, we should just like, let's not make a thing of it. But I feel like a real piece of shit not if you doing don't. something, right? Yeah. So I'll do flowers, a nice dinner, and like, you know, 
champagne or something like just you know the whatever. champagne I'm bottles not, that she not, got yeah she's those not 20 of them that she got it's not like toyota thon she's could, not you could probably a, she's not getting a land cruiser but another bottle of your champagne maybe oh, could be cruiser. could be mm. sidebar i put on the back i write on the back of the all day. the champagne uh, bottles what they're for because god knows i can't keep them all straight anyway <laughs> back to my story which was i will do these things and this episode is coming out after valentine's day so i'll say it now i have like again same concept she was like let's not do big things for valentine's day or whatever great it's i don't care it's i didn't like i said i didn't get her like a bunch of jewelry i small things though so i'm not like a piece of shit on valentine's it's day. an ambitious concept so but i'll throw these real. i'm gonna throw yeah. these things her way i have a real uh problem about this year's valentine's day in particular i'll explain that in a second but anyway i have got her these things i'm gonna give her these things then she's gonna feel guilty and then she's gonna go out day of and try to find me something that's what'll happen it's just what always is what always happens but, but i don't the, need her to do it it's just the it's just what happens it's our like thing it's, it's not what just what it's happens what it's do. not it doesn't just happen it's in your what room. we do like so clark's birthday is on valentine's yeah. day so my wife is like oh we don't you know but if i don't do something mm -hmm. it's you don't you don't care Hundred percent about me. Yeah, I absolutely, it's, dude. Or should I'll drink your fucking bath you're water? But you said don't do anything. <laughs> you're threading, <laughs> you're threading <laughs> the needle, right? No matter yeah, what you yeah do. you got to. Like you got to. And so, what's odd this year is that it is on a Wednesday, which is a very inconvenient day for Valentine's Day. Now, traditionally, Emily works on Wednesdays. Wednesdays, she's going to mm -hmm. also work this Wednesday, this upcoming Wednesday. So she was like, "Let's do." I was assuming we would celebrate Valentine's Day next in the weekend. weekend. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what I thought. That's when we so are. So I have gonna everything queued up. I have deliveries and all kinds of stuff. Had it all queued up for next weekend, the following weekend. There you go. Well, she was like, well, let's do it. She wants to do it this weekend. And I was like, first of all, you're out tonight. You're going to be gals. out. You're going to be for out for Galentine's Day night. You're going to be. <laughs> I kind of love that word. You're going to so be much. posted <laughs> tomorrow. You're not going to be alive. You're not going to do anything. You're not going to want to do anything. Down for the, down for the gals. So now I'm in this weird situation where I have bumped up a bunch of the stuff. So I have half of it for tomorrow and I have half of it for next weekend. Well, you just have a Valentine's Day week for you. A week of love. Yeah. At the DeYoung household. Yeah, dude. It's, let me tell you, it's yeah. not great. We're going to just, uh, Conceptually, now, sure. I don't know. I mean, I don't not ideal. know what you guys are doing on actual Valentine's Day. That's Clark's birthday. More than welcome to come get some Dang cake it. and ice cream if you kind of just want to, you know, want to. You, you do things for Valentine's Day, though, right? For your lady, you get her something? Me? You know, yeah. No. Nothing. Clark's birthday is literally Valentine's Day. Yeah, but I'm talking wow. about your wife. I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm saying, like, I'm not. She says don't do anything. But you get her something. I have absolutely. A box of chocolates, card, you know, flowers, something. I just, I, can I vent for a second? Because it's like, I don't really talk about this all out. Uh, as the only uh, man uh, um, amongst three women. We get it. I can't, like I, I lose no matter what, sure. right? I can't. Sure. Yeah. Clark's birthday's on it's a Valentine's lose, it's Day. It's a lose-lose situation. It's all about her. Mm -hmm. But I can't not get my, my baby Quinn something. Got to get her something. I can't not get my wife something because she gave them to me. Yeah. It's Valentine's Day. I gotta get her something. So you're giving everybody I gotta, something. I gotta. So now you're in debt three. I got a whole domino effect of women. Yeah. Then I, you know, I got my my my, my bonus daughter. Mm -hmm. I gotta get her something because she'll be there. She'll feel weird if mm -hmm. I don't. So like now it's turned into fucking Christmas. Yeah. Because I got all these women. Yep. 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 No one. It's no one rough. cares. No one cares about me. That's rough. Mm. No, they no. don't. Yeah. I mean, we do. That's how we're doing this Thanks. while we're here. Cheers. I feel sure. for you guys. We don't do anything. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> it's Listen, just, a, you know. That's fine. That's fair. Fair. Yeah, we that's just, fair. Like, I, that's a lie. The, the, uh, I'm making steak frites and creme brulee. On, okay. On so it. you can't say you're not you're, doing you're something. You're doing something. But yeah. no, no. Like, all right. So, okay. Don't then, pull up your chair to the table like you're eating. Okay. Dude. We cook for each. I cook on Valentine's Day. I, I, cook, I, cook, every week. You I cook every week. But like I do something like a little extra on Valentine's But that's Valentine's my point. Day. So you're going to, you're going to, you're going to put some spice in the day. It's not yes. like you're just going to show up completely empty handed. Yeah. Okay. Last year. Oh, last year. It was chaos. I can't even remember Valentine's Day anymore because it's Clark it's just consumed it. Anyway, yeah. that's she what that's that's what I'm dealing with. That's how I wound up at the Walmart over on whatever. <laughs> Can we? All right, we let's get back to Walmart real quick. What about it, before dude? we end? And I just 
think this is an interesting and awesome dynamic that you got to experience the black Walmart in Randallstown because every Walmart is incredibly significant to the area mm. it's in. Like Randallstown, predominantly black, black suburb. Yeah. And it's chaos in there. Mm-hmm. But then if you go like 15 minutes up the road, there's another Walmart in Westminster. Still chaos, but it's a pickup truck and camo chaos, right? <laughs> a different kind it's of It's a total chaos. different chaos, and it's 15 minutes up the road, mm-hmm. right? But then there's the Towson Walmart, which yep. is college Oof. chaos. No, it's that dude. That's that's yeah, college chaos. I just <laughs> the getting in and out of Towson is always a little frustrating for me. I just don't like like traffic on 695 around Towson. Yeah, really it's chaotic. just so much. Yeah, Have you that. been uh to the um what is the, where is that area? The Arbutus Walmart. Have you been there? Dude, I've been to Arbutus, but I don't know. If it's like a Walmart. bomb of chaos. Like so All here's, the chaos. So here's, I never heard the word Arbutus until this Here's what very I'm moment. thinking. Really? It's by the airport. I'm thinking that. that Walmart is not, in fact, as rad as everyone. Oh, it's in it's Lansdowne. Not, Lansdowne. It's terrible. Okay. It Lansdowne, yeah, yeah. It's fine. I'm not judging Walmart. It's bananas. It's over great. There, bro. I think it bananas. should. I, I'm here for it. But I'm just, I'm going to stay. I'm going to say. I don't think, I don't think it's as awesome. Yeah, it's not. It was when saying. they had McDonald's in there. Now they got Subway. It's got pretty low ratings across the board, except for their vision centers, 100%. <laughs> well, you got to get glasses. Man. That's right, baby. Damn. Oh. My God. What? All right, so uh, Dune 2 is coming out in March. Back to a little movie talk. Um, you never it. saw Dune 1, though. I did. did I watched you, it. You enjoyed it, or you didn't like it because you watched it in the background. No, nah, I watched it. Okay. I, it was, it was too dark. For too dark. Remember? Literally or Literally emotionally? too dark. I, Literally I could not see dark. it. I thought it was too dark. <laughs> I could not. What did you watch? I turned on? the brightness up on the TV all the way because I'm like, yo, this is too dark. Mm-hmm. Again, getting some flashbacks of Game of Thrones. The final oh, okay. season. Oh, oh yeah. man. Um, and I was anticipating action the entire time. No, yeah, no, no, no. I you're going like, to get that in the sequel, though. I think the sequel is going to be pretty action-packed. I think they were edging the action. I with need. each scene. They're laying the base, dude. And They're I, laying the base. You know, they had to build the story. They had to build the character. It was in, in, incredibly character driven. Yeah. But yeah, I was yeah. like, why? We don't have, like, just give us, just give us the action. Like, kill well, somebody off. a lot of people, I mean, if Dune has a very strong foothold, I mean, it's obviously from a book and there's a whole series of books. There's lore, right. But there yeah, are yeah. people that are into the books in a very meaningful way. So you can't do the movies and not do justice to the, to the books. To the lore. You have yeah. to do that stuff well if you want the buy-in from the book enthusiasts. I'm also a big person. I'm also big. On, I'm sorry. Not, I'm not a big person. I'm also big on uh, action that's consequential. And a lot of it, a lot of the action that happened in, in Dune One was not consequential. It was just kind of like, oh, we got to give them some action because whatever, whatever. Like the fight scenes were mm-hmm. just kind of like, oh, this just got to happen so people don't. All right, so you're not excited for Dune Two? I, I no, I, I am because I heard they're they're like laying they're dub- dude. Everybody, it's they're doubling I down mean, on the action. The so. hype is the hype is there. Dude. I need to rewatch it. I Maybe that's what I need it. to do. I the need to rewatch Dan. it. Yeah. What's with their noses? Dude, so what's good. what's going into their noses? That oxygen? It's the atmosphere. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like a uh, oxygen thing. Their eyes turn blue because yep. of the oxygen or whatever. All right. You already know more than I do. Okay. I watched this. Batista. I watched, I watched it. it, man. I watched it and I just don't remember it. Dude, give it a watch. Get into it again. Is, is it you part two and we're done or are they, is there, are they no, lined so up? So there's for... a third. I, well, apparently the third, there is going to be a third film. That's what everybody is kind of saying. Um, even the director has kind of insinuated that, that it will in fact happen. Originally it was conceived as part one, part two. There is a whole series. Like there's tons oh, of so books. Short. You could make movie after movie uh, after movie okay. if you wanted to. But the core, like the, the core story is really taking place over part one, two, and most likely three. And I mean, essentially, Walken, is that Christopher it? Walken? Yeah, it is. God damn. Um, and so, and then there's going to be a TV show on HBO. Of course there is. To tie in. Oh, they have to. Yeah, the TV show, there's going to be a TV show on HBO just to kind of extend the universe, Josh, which is pretty cool though. Josh Brolin, our short king. Um, <laughs> it's really short. 
Yeah, he's 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 like five six, five seven. But anyway, very excited about short that. King. That's early short, March. Short King. So you got that coming. No way, he's five ten. He's taller than me, dude. Get out of here. Five five nine. Why do you think go, Josh Brolin was so short? Go go back to the picture of them on the red carpet. <laughs> he's like the shortest person there. <laughs> Zendaya, Timothy Chalamet's got on like flats. <clears throat> yeah, that series of uh, give me something. Come on, this one. Yeah, look at that short king. Or is he amongst tall, tall people? Or yeah. I think these are tall people. I get the short. Tall. I get the short. Taller people. I'd peg these people I, for a round six. This guy on the right is he the? Uh, That's Elvis. He's in Masters of the Air. He's that guy. Is he looks like the guy um Scars Scarsguard, the guy that plays it? Yeah. Is that him? Uh that's not, brother? Is not him. No, no, no. They're not. He looks like not him. Related, so familiar. Okay. Not related. Okay, never mind. But, but yeah. awkward looking. I get pinned like this sense. because I hang around tall people. I don't think I'm I don't think I'm a short guy. I don't think I'm How tall. How tall are you? Five seven. Have you seen this uh the guy on Instagram or on TikTok or whatever has the video about being short? <laughs> the short video, short guy video. My wife loves this video. He's like a he's a he makes music, and uh, he makes music videos that go to that, like that go along with okay. it, obviously. Um, but uh, yeah, it's we will we can figure it out later. I can't remember exactly what it is. Short guy video Instagram. Um, short guy video. <laughs> this is very Instagram, broad search. Very short. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> very a short. It's a song. Search, search songs. Oh, can I search Short songs? guy. Um, song. Yeah. Instagram s- song. Uh, Short song. Guy. Song. Short guy song. Instagram. See if that comes well, up. I'm going to try and smell oh, that yeah. better. Uh, um, the number, uh, the height specifically is 5'7". He's 5'7 in the videos. 5'7". <laughs> we get a bad rap, bro. Dude. I'm still. Five, uh, I'm not coming, taller. Coming, coming to the end of this Like, I'm episode. not taller than most men, but I'm taller than most women. And it, it. Oh it, my it ruins god, the man. dynamic for me. You no, know I'm just what I'm going saying? down. Oh my god! There's like Reddit threads. I'm five foot seven. Who's happy with this? <laughs> okay, I gotta defend us, man. Dude, I definitely this whole have Reddit this. threads about five five uh, dude, seven I'm guys. Five seven, five seven guys. I sh- definitely have this somewhere in my messages, but I've I've got to search for it anyway. As a five foot seven guy who's happy with his height, <laughs> <laughs> I think fellow medium short guy. <laughs> Medium short. They deleted the post. <laughs> oh, come on. He got embarrassed. Oh, sure. Poor guy. But, Don't oh, be embarrassed, man. man. Own that shit, man. Own it. That's what I'm saying. Own it. <laughs> My wife's 5'9", man. Nothing stops you, bro. It's like a little Short King video. It's great. Not the Short King video that was on SNL. No. Uh, no, no, no. No. I'm surprised it's actually this hard to find. I was getting it was it, hap, it was popping up in my feed Put, like uh, nonstop. Short guy influencer. See if that. See if you get anything there. No. Yeah. What I'm realizing is how much. I my got the wife Reddit and threads. I message each other. Uh, there's a lot of short people on Reddit. on Instagram. It's insane. Ah, but this is not anyway. what we wanted. We tried. Whatever. It is what it is. We tried. Um, you'll know what it is if you've seen it. You'll be able to relate to this part of the show. Shout but out to Tom Cruise, TC, baby the goat. Do you see that they're doing another uh, Top Gun? I can't wait. Are they really? Yeah, yeah Top Gun Three, dude. TG Three. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. TG Three with TC the goat, dude. Yeah, man, it's happening, man. Cannot wait. You, I mean. I mean, I don't know, man. There's just some people's movies I just enjoy. It's mm-hmm. just so two was just so good. It was, so it was just amazing. It was just an amazing movie. It just doubled down on everything that was great about the first one. And they said, just turn it up a notch. I saw it in theaters and I'd never seen the. I saw the first one like three or four days before <laughs> I saw it in theaters and was like, okay, I get it. And then I saw the second one, like people were like cheering in the, in and the you're like, theater. Oh, and I was like, oh, I get oh. it. And then yeah. my wife watched just the second one. She was like, that was awesome. And I was like, yeah. It was really good. Yeah. It's amazing. It's amazing. I think the first one's still on Netflix. It probably is. Good old Maverick. Well, well, the budget for it's going to be incredible. It's going to probably be like $50 million. He got to go to space. Like, he's got to go to space for real. All right. I I am 
This is it. Oh my god. Dude, this guy's huge. Good for you. <laughs> this filter. I'm always sitting. And Emily sends these to you. She loves this guy. <laughs> I think he's. I think he's great. Please don't laugh at me with my wife. <laughs> I have. Dude, this dude's gonna tour. He has like, to. Like he has tons of songs like this. He has to. Don't lie about your height. You don't have to. Just embrace it, man. Embrace it, bro. Well, how tall is she? That's what I want to know. I know I'm shy. I know I'm shy about my height. You can't. You can't. You just gotta. You gotta own it, man. Dude, what? there are all these like dudes that like have been like remixing it that like will play it. They'll like duet it and they'll like do drums and they like turn it into like these like epic bangers. It's incredible. <laughs> it's some, yeah. So good. All right. Episode uh, 4074. Sorry. <laughs> 4774. 4774, dude. That's it. Oh, we are. This is 74. Jesus. Yeah, man. We're wrapping up. That's it. Cigarettes. In and, and out, man. In five and seven. Towson beers, baby. Let's go. Oof.